The Wood Headline runs from Manchester to Sheffield, a full length of 42 miles. But that's not all. At Paniston, a branch line begins. It's 20 miles long and it runs from Paniston to Vaught. This part of the line was not yet reopened. Until... Hello engines, I'm here to inform you all that the branch line to Vaught shall be reopening soon. Who's going to run it? I haven't decided yet. Anyway, a Black 5 is on its way, here to help us restore the branch to its original state. A Black 5? Uh, yes, Edwin, a Black 5. Number 44767, George Stevenson. Isn't George Stevenson the man who created the rocket? Yes, he is. 44767 is named after him. Anyway, I better be off now. The engines waited that Mr. Salmon left, and then, they started chatting. We need you here to shunt our trains. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Calm your pistons. Anyway, I'm glad another of my kind survived. That's good to hear, isn't it? Hey, Edwin, aren't you taking the morning stopping train? No, Stephen is taking that. The morning heavy goods trains are too heavy for him. Oh, we do need another goods engine. Hmm, like an 8F or something. I better go and shunt that train. Timothy puffed away, leaving William and Edwin alone. Do you know the George Stevenson Black Five? I'm afraid I don't. William, we'll have to get going. Your milk train's waiting for you. Great. Goodbye, Edwin. <laughs> Goodbye, Bill. It's William! That afternoon, George Stevenson arrived at Sheffield Victoria Station. That night, at the sheds, the engine examined the visitor. You look almost like our Edwin here. I'm not sure what's with the valve gear, though. George is a unique type of Black Five. An experimental one. Edwin's right. The engine stalked well into the night. At some point, the strategic steam reserve came up. I don't believe it. It can't be true, can it? Well, preservation is some sort of strategic steam reserve. What is the strategic steam reserve, anyway? People around the world made a strategy in case of another war. The plan is that they hide steam engines in tunnels, mines, unused sheds, anything old and abandoned. Wait, isn't there an unused tunnel near Peniston Station? Yeah, and what of it? Well, when I was sent up to collect Stephen's goods train while he helped, helped John, I heard a sort of noise. I thought it was a ghost at first, but I'm not sure. What did it sound like? It was something like, Help! I'm bored in here! What? It's not possible. Are you sure you aren't imagining things? Yes, I very well am. Uh, Timothy, not that we don't believe you, but the thing is... Don't you dare lie to me, Mr. Unique. I know what I heard, and I'm going to prove it. You'll see. Luckily, 
Timothy's crew didn't leave yet. They agreed with Timothy that they are going to prove it, one way or another. The next day, Timothy asked if he can take Stephen's short passenger service up to Penniston and back. Mr. Salmon agreed and Timothy was soon on his way with four coaches in tow. When he reached Penniston station, he had a little time to refill with coal and water and run around his train. Now's our chance! We don't want anyone to hear. What do we? Sorry! Timothy slowly puffed out of the station yard and he was soon on the branch line. He slowly kept puffing forward as silently as he could. Soon he reached the tunnel. He stopped right before the entrance. Hello? I is anyone in there? It's funny you ask that. Actually, I'm here. Let me guess. You're J94, aren't you? Yes, director, right mate. Anyway, my name's Norbert. You could call me Nemo for short. My name is Timothy. But they call me Tim. Not always, though. I do, Tim. Anyway, could you get us out of here? Of course, we'll have to wait a while. Timothy reversed down the line, back to the station. There, his crew told the station master if they can use his phone to contact Mr. Salmon and tell him about their discovery. The station master agreed, and soon Mr. Salmon knew everything. Timothy departed the station a little late, but proud. He had approved that he did hear something. Not knowing what would happen next, he thundered down the line with his train.
that afternoon he returned to the tunnel with Mr. Salmon on board. Get ready, Timothy. You'll be pulling him out soon. Yes, sir. Timothy slowly started to puff into the tunnel. Soon, he reached Norbert. Hey, watch out! Are you all right in there? Yes, sir. Timothy was soon coupled up to Nemo, and he soon started to haul him out of the tunnel. But he was heavier than expected. You're very heavy. Are you a 9F or something? No, I'm an 8F. Edwin will be glad. Oh, that reminds me. Are you part of the Strategic Steam Reserve? Actually, I am. Anyway, who's Edwin? He's our number one locomotive. Hmm? What class? A Black 5 and BR Green. You know, I'm actually a freight version of the Black 5s. Soon, Nemo and Timothy got to Penston Station, where Nigel was waiting to take him to Manchester, where a Class 37 would be waiting for him to take him to the engine repair shop at Doncaster. He returned a couple of weeks later. Now, Norbert is a proud member of the Woodhead Line's fleet of engines, and he's proud about it.